our Adelaide Airport with an original Dali on display. This is Well, I don't have the GoPro because we travelled light up here to Adelaide. <laughs> Photo bombed by the little French hook here. Uh, so I left the GoPro in my luggage. Wow! That's amazing! So he said the coffee places were in here, didn't he? They said the arcade. Call me immature. I am immature. Quite remarkable, look at this. You do know they're not real, don't you? <laughs> oh look, they've got a knicker department too. The French big lady bloomers department. This is an underground tea room, apparently. Which is underground and is a tea room. Completely party. What do they know? What do they care? Huh? Farts. This is this is my place. <laughs> what a beautifully preserved arcade. Some interesting. How lovely is this? How lovely is this? I love the distinction between the men's wigs. Right, this is the men's wigs department. And this is the ladies' wigs department. I think they may have got that slightly confused, actually. Adelaide. I actually think it's my favourite city so far. It's been very pleasant. Hey, <sighs> good. Public art with a sense of humour, always very welcome. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Ago, I was on the panel that awarded buskers licenses for Transport for London and my brief to myself was to allow the weirdos to get through as long as it was 
reasonably in tune and not distorted, I used to make sure that the weirdos got through. Not just the karaoke singers who uh, sang over backing tracks, but people that did extraordinary things. So I always have a soft spot for buskers, especially if they're good. And she was good. Yeah, this town's got a soul. I love it. A little pub stand. Adelaide's celebrating live music. Well, good for you, Adelaide. Somebody's got to. Yeah, it's just got a vibe. Paulie on the way in from the airport said that it's quite low rise because the airport's really close to the city, so they couldn't build too high. Whether he was jiving me, as the young folks say, or not, I don't know, but uh, it's certainly not as grotesquely obscene as uh, Melbourne, essentially Melbourne is. Who's that fine fellow on the pavement over there? I'm sorry this is all iPhone footage, but uh, I've had to travel light. And so I left the GoPro in my luggage back in Melbourne Hotel. I wish I'd just slipped it in my pocket. Who's this fellow? A cheeky chappy. Roy Mo. <coughs> Roy Mo Rene. One of Australia's greatest and most loved comedians, Roy René was born Harry van der Sluis in Hindley Street, Adelaide, son of a Dutch cigar merchant and one of seven children. Some of Mo's favourite catchphrases are still part of Australian vernacular. For example, strike me lucky, ah! Don't come the raw prawn with me. Fair suck of the salve. <laughs> you beaut. Right, I'm going to research that with uh, Paulie and find out under what circumstances you say fair I'm going to research that with Paulie and find out under what circumstances you say, yeah, it gets a fair suck of the salmon, mate. <laughs> yeah. In any street that has a picture of Jimi Hendrix on it, street banners is okay with me. I think we might be getting to the funky part of town. Massage parlours are proliferating. I've always had a soft spot for the funky parts of town, to be honest. Not in a participatory way, but I quite enjoy the vibe of them. The fantastic feel massage, mate. Polites? What's a polite? Politics. Polite. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. What is polite? What is polite? I think it's uh, polite. It's a business name or something like that. Okay. Okay. I shall look. I'll research further, thank you. Excuse 
excuse me for troubling you, what is the name Polites? Polites, uh, that was a property owner. Okay. Oh, yeah, so um, he started buying property in the 60s and 70s. Okay. And yeah, it's just a legacy that his Thank signs you. are everywhere. So they it's are, not Polites, it's Polites. Polites, probably yeah. Greek. Yes. Thank you yep. very much. No, that's all right, have a great day. Bye-bye. There we go, it's a Greek, probably Greek, um, property developer who started buying property here in the 60s. Polite Polities Building Princes Group, more glorious wrought iron balconies and colonnades. There's a theme emerging here. You see that sign there that says Pokies? Let's see if I can get in on it. There we go. Pokies. Apparently, Pokies are slot machines. Adelaide Symphony Orchestra headquarters, concert hall, possibly. Yeah, concert hall. Wow, that's quite a building. I'm just going to go there. That's quite a building, isn't it? The Australia Stores. Yeah, I like this city. Wow. Most excellent. There's a shop over there called Strats. Let's go and find out what it is. It's unlikely to be a shop selling exclusively Fender Stratocasters, but you never know, do you? Looking a bit closed to me. Chill zone. Hindley Street Music Hall. I think we'll probably come into the end of the uh, commercial part of Hindley Street. This was worth a walk though. Very stringent entry requirements here. Not really sure what it is. Multicultural bar. Okay, Serengeti next door. Maybe that's why I like this city so much. It is multicultural and feels like it. So at the venue in Adelaide, well, just nipped out by the initial tedious chunk of the sound check is going on. 
because I'm told it's worth a look out here. And straight away we find one of those fantastic wrought iron balcony things on that bar there, pub, the theatre bar. The Federal Hall over the road. Oh yeah, this is nice. And tonight's venue, if I can get a full body shot of it without getting killed, from across the road. There we go, the Majesty's Theatre. Her Majesty's Theatre. There we go. Right, we're coming up later for something to eat. I just wanted to catch a bit of the venue. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, there's something nice about this town even though the avenues are broad it hasn't got the coldness of Canberra it just feels funky and friendly right heads down no nonsense mindless sound check time hope the experience is smoother and less tedious than usual. Australian folk sayings, Paulie. Good at what? One of your Australian folk sayings. What's it one about spiders? Oh, yeah. We're not here to fuck spiders. And what is the meaning of this? Um, we're here to do a job okay, and we're nothing not here else. To fuck around, yeah, yeah, we're not here to fuck around. Good. Spiders, no spiders will be fucked. back to the stage. Excellent. <laughs> so here we are, backstage at Her Majesty's Theatre, and it's the wall of fame and shame. Spike Milligan, 1908, <laughs> he might have been lying. There's 
several Barry Humphreys signatures on here. Reg Livermore, Barry Humphreys and Sandy Stone, a pair of pensioners. <coughs> that's one of Barry Humphreys' lesser known characters. But as usual with him, beautifully observed. Barry Humphreys again, October 82, when was that one? That was 1991, okay. Somewhat um, bizarrely, Ronnie Corbett is here somewhere. <laughs> Barry Humphreys' first farewell tour. <laughs> There we go, Ronnie Corbett, a lovely time. Good, right, I'm going to go and search for the green room and then I'm going to go and search for dinner. <laughs>